Guys, welcome to the second game of the final of BSL Season 13 Hasu League. Group B, upper left-hand corner, we have Advil starting as the Brown Terran. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the White Zerg. And I just wanted to give a shout-out to everybody that was able to catch. So <clears throat> this is the first cast I'm doing after I was able to do the uh, Pro League of BSL, which actually was there a group label? I think it was just the semifinals. And I was able to cast uh, Mihu versus Kiao. Kiao? I, I did not pronounce that name rightly, I am told, and ended up using uh, slang for genitalia. So apologies there. <laughs> I need to go back and figure out how to pronounce the name better, uh, which is why I'm shortening it this time. But So that match and also Bonneth versus Ziki, they're incredible matches. Go check them out if you haven't already. But yeah, I just felt a lot of warm, loving support from the community. And it just, uh, I don't know, I love it. And it really made me feel amazing. Um, I really don't know another way to put it. It was just, yeah, it was great. It was a great feeling. Absolutely love doing it. Anyway, Rancor looks like he is going to open up with an Overlord build, potentially a 11 hatch or 12 hatch. This is a larger map. Good night. And we'll see if Advil, so Advil, he's had a lot of trouble against Cheese thus far. Rancor is an aggressive player. He likes going for Cheese. I think Advil's kind of broken the code with that. It is possible that he can adjust his play style now, although it looks like he's not going for a front door seal uh, initially. This is a four player map. Let's see if he also gets first scout. It looks like this Overlord is initially going to the far right. Now we're seeing, in fact, a 12 hatch and a second drone moving out to go ahead and get scouting information. I think this is a map that actually might favor Advil's style, potentially, because Rancor likes being aggressive early, but this is a much larger map, and it tends to be more macro-oriented, and if there is a weak spot in Rancor's play, it is not, it's kind of a large pause in the mid-game when he doesn't have, it's kind of the transition from whatever early aggression to his macro-oriented play. Sometimes he can languish in between. A gas steal from Advil? I have not seen this before. This is very rare. Uh, so spawning pool up, gas steal here. I don't know that it's really going to pay off though, because all Rancor needs to do is move here to the natural expansion and take this gas. And yeah, the gas will be delayed a bit, but producing a, a couple additional Zerglings in the early game, I don't think Rancor has any issue with that. Um, and it looks like that refinery continuing to be built to cap uh, additional health. I'm, I'm wondering if Advil has a plan behind this. In the meantime, it's going to be a last scout for Rancor and SCV and two Marines already pressing forward in the front. Rancor is going to be dealing with what looks like a command center behind this. So there the hatchery finish. That gas uh, is delayed quite a bit. So it looks like mining is starting around the three minute mark uh, as opposed to a little bit earlier. I'm not sure if Advil realized that's what's happening. Only two Zerglings being produced on the front door and it looks like is the drone even going to... So the drone scooting across, I think checking for potential proxy because of that gas deal, which I totally understand. This is... It's weird. You would expect with the gas deal that there would be a, a bit of mind games happening here. Supply depot in the way, no bunker, four marines on the front, uh, not a slew of zerglings, a creep colony being built. So Advil really in Ranker's head with that gas deal. Ranker's like, what is going on? What is up? He's in the dark. So he's slowing his economy down greatly. So building that layer, he's already got this creep colony expecting some sort of early aggression that he just doesn't know what it is. Potentially, maybe he's expecting factory at this stage of thing, but it looks like instead, maybe because of game one, game two, but instead it looks like Advil has mixed it up. He's going barracks and also getting a bunker. It's natural expansion up. And I believe that Rancor, yeah, is grabbing a second gas. So I think he just wants to go pure two hash mutilisk. And I think Advil will be in an okay position as long as he gets... The additional barracks, if he gets that engineering bay up, gets that academy up in sufficient amounts of time, just keeps up with his macro, I think he will be in a good position to fight that back. It's going to come down to, uh, and this is a large map as well, and I feel like Mutalisks, all-in Mutalisk works a little bit better on, uh, I don't know, this is kind of a, a weird opinion to have, checking that natural expansion now rank, we're seeing that it's uh, boxed out. I almost feel like all-in Mutalisk is a little bit easier to execute on three-player maps. I'll have to expand on that thought. Uh, sometime down the line. There's the Alaire, seeing the Spire now. Uh, in the background, we do have that Academy about halfway finished. No third barracks yet, but we are just seeing a lot of Marines being produced, a bunker um, already up here. 
But I think part of what it is, is if you have long distance spawns like this, it takes a long time to reinforce. That's what it comes down to. And also the surface area, I don't know, it feels like on three player maps, the surface area on the maps just tends to be larger. That's a weird, I don't know, I'll expand on that thought some other time. I'm not even sure that it's the case. It was just kind of a thought I had and wanted to explore in the middle of this cast for some reason. Anyway, Stim, uh, Stim being upgraded, still sitting on two barracks. It looks like that engineering bay being plopped down. And I think Advil is going to be in a decent position to go ahead and fight off this early build. Third, So it's going to be an in-base hatchery. And I'm wondering if Rancor, so not grabbing an additional expansion as well, so Rancor potentially going for three hatch Muta behind this, um, which is older school style of build. Advil does have a lot of Marines up. If he's going to go for kind of what was kind of the standard play in this is where you wanted to pressure that front door and force some cre sunken colonies. The sunken colonies are already built. Um, the secondary question is, is okay, is this hatchery on delay and are we just going to see a flood of initial Mutalists? And I still think this might be all on Mutalists. The Comsat catches absolutely all of the tech there's an initial three mutals being produced. Level one weapons is on the way. It's going to take a while to get there, but the turrets actually a little bit early, but already in place. And the natural expansion probably could use an additional turret, but Avil is in an okay position. I don't think he needs to walk out with these medic marines upon seeing those sunken colonies on his front door. What I almost feel like he wants to do, yeah, it looks like he's chasing down the Zerglings. Even if he moved like a, looks like Rancor's moving out. He wants to grab another base actually behind this. So that's, and this is very delayed. So Rancor's early build, a little bit scattered. So he's got the five Mutalisks, or sorry, six Mutalisks that are moving out. Usually you want um, a full grouping of eight before fully engaging. But this is uh, very, very delayed. Uh, Carapace on the way, I think because of that early Sunken Colony and just not getting a good read on what Advil was up to. In the meantime, Stim is up, uh, range is on the way, level one weapons not too far on the way. A medic taking some damage, but it looks like it's going to get packed to the pile. Let's see if the medics can... Even medics don't like healing other medics. I feel like medics are just kind of... Uh, I don't know. Three turrets and that back edge. It looks like that second gas is going to be grabbed momentarily by Advil. Currently, Rancor has a little bit of map control. He is gra grabbing this fifth base. But Advil grabbing that fourth barracks. He's got a decent amount of marines. Uh, level one weapons about halfway finished. I feel like he's in a much better position at this stage. And as you can see, this is kind of the, what I was talking about in Rancor's uh, mid-game play is we'll try to keep an eye on that drone count um, and as well as, as well as the saturation. A third sunken colony being dropped, which suggests that Rancor really wants to, yeah, just be aggressive, aggressive, aggressive with these mutalists in the early game. I also wonder what the the latency is like in this match. I wish there was a read on that from the replays. A stim, a medic got picked off. So nice micro there by Rancor. Fifth hatchery just about online. And it looks like a fifth hat a fifth barracks being tacked on rather than a factory uh, to press tech from there. Level one weapons is going to finish in not too long. Level one carapace is not that far behind it. So these mulisks are going to still have a bit of sufficiency. I'm looking really the big swing. I feel like there is a window. If Advil can go ahead and get that factory down, get that science facility out, because I think there is going to be a moment where he's just going to be able to march out with those medic marines because Rancor is dedicating a large amount of mulisks. He hasn't really switched back to drone production all that much. He's now scattered that 5 o'clock. Let's see if this creates a reaction for Advil. Advil, yeah, seeing that 5 o'clock base saying like, okay, you're going for a lot of mules. This isn't pure all in. So let me just go ahead and get those medic marines out on the map. As soon as they start moving out, knowing that there's that 5 o'clock base to pressure, those Mulisks are probably going to want to, yeah, either engage in... This is one of those situations where they say... I mean, it comes down to execution, but if the Mulisks don't deal with this moving ball, that is certainly going to be a lost base, especially without Lurker support to defend it. And these Mulisks completely seeding a lot of ground, the Zerglings engaging, and Advil just marching straight to that 5 o'clock location. One Sutton Colony morphing in. This is going to be three Sutton Colonies to at the 5 o'clock location. The Mulisks... Engaging that rear line, a lot of them getting taken out, and Advil getting a little bit too spread out, in my opinion, in that engagement. And all these Mutalists taking an immense amount of damage. It looks like three of them getting picked off. And several others getting wiped out as Rancor thought Advil was in full retreat and just mispositioned. And that was a huge swing. He's got four. Here's the thing, though. He's got four something colonies. He's got a lot of Mutalists. I'm still looking for that factory and starport and science facility because... A swing with a radiate, this would really shut down a lot of what Rancor is capable of. But it looks like Rancor isn't in a terrible position because he is... Ooh, this Overlord's going to get caught out in field. He's way behind in supply, keep in mind. And But 
and Advil doing great. He looks like he's also working on level one armor. Hasn't I don't think he's dropped a second engineering bay oh, anywhere in the field. So he's still working off a single engineering bay as far as upgrades. But one advantage for Rancor is he's just piled a lot of defense on his front line. And he's not going to get cracked anytime soon. It's going to take a long time to punch through this. But he's basically seeding map control in the midst of this. Which Advil can go ahead and yeah, just continue to macro up. Continue to upgrade uh, just get on that front door, get a science facility up, get those science vessels out, and then just start irradiating the bejesus out of Rancor and kind of s maintain map control and play the map from there. And this is kind of the difficulty of the three base, uh, more shelled in style is, is, okay, once you, yeah, you get that third gas, but it's kind of a race between Defiler and Hive Tech is not even started here. Uh, for Rancor. So it's it's very likely he's going to be boxed into map control and Advil is just going to be able to just get a, an immense amount of positive trades out of this. Although he's losing Marines on the front currently with this grouping of 10 Mutalisks. The Mutalisks just kind of looking for pockets to go ahead and engage these Marines. Let's see if these medics can get back in the grouping. A little bit scattered, but Advil's doing exactly what he needs to do. Just pile those medic Marines outside of this corner. Make sure that no additional sneaky expansions are taken. Radiate now being upgraded. We do have double starport behind this. A siege tank actually being grouped up, so Advil wants to end this now rather than playing a longer match. He's way up in supply. More medic marines engaging. The Mutal's looking for stragglers, but Advil being very, very patient and really having a good cohesive uh, grouping, getting another Mutalisk for the effort. So really paying off. This is a lot of stuff to punch through, though. So I'm almost wondering if a drop if he, if he wanted to punch through it, almost like build a science vessel, but also go drop uh, in the midst of it. A siege tank needs to be protected. The medic marines try to deal with these mulas. It looks like this little bundle of medic marines is going to get wiped out by these mulas. But the tank managing to sneak through. Is Advil going to be able to protect it, though? It looks like it has already taken initial bound of damage. Branker needs to wipe that out. The siege tank survives. And a lot of mulas got wiped out in the effort. Ooh. SCV is there to help group repair. And Advil in a good position to do some damage on this front door, but it looks like the Mutalists diving in once again, getting wiped out. That was a lot of Mutalists to lose. In the meantime, supply count very much in Advil's advantage. Again, he can just camp out here, keep reinforcing, get the science vessels there. He needs to be careful uh, to protect them. How did these lurkers get out here? Was there a drop that I missed? Maybe from the, looks like from the six o'clock base, I assume. Those getting wiped out. That's the one thing that Advil is missing is, is some sort of positional control at that location. Scourge wandering up. They need to take those science vessels out. They get both of them. So Rancor doing what he needs to do to hold on to reestablish his economy. He still needs to double Hydralist then? That has to be a mistake. Now getting uh, the Queen's Nest. Wants to move his way to Hive and press from there. Another Science Vessel overly exposed. Advil needs to draw that back. And the Mulus, or sorry, the Lurker's trying to press a little bit forward in the midst of all this, but Rancor not babysitting his Mulus very well and losing them as well. So two... Two science vessels now camped out here. They can just start dropping the irradiates across this medic marine ball. But Rancor now moving up with a huge army to try to punch through this. Several lurkers getting wiped out. Plenty of detection. Advil looks like not babysitting his uh, troops or paying attention very much. Three lurkers still standing. And he also lost the high ground with this, which isn't what he was looking for. Now stimming right back into it. Didn't get a really good pre-marine spread. So he might end up losing more marines. Yeah, losing a lot of marines in the midst of this. But what this did is that cleared out all the defenses on the front door. And this is a... A lot of Medic Marines at 1-1 with another reinforcement group. Um, if he wanted to, he could punch through this. But at the very least, he can just kind of hold back and irradiate absolutely everything. In the meantime, he wasn't babysitting the 5 o'clock base to keep an eye on the expansion. So Rancor grabbing another expansion in the bottom right. Advil going to go ahead and grab his mineral only. And there is potential backstab opportunity as far as units that have been produced out of Rancor's 5 o'clock location. and just kind of got an end around with these... Uh, with these medic marines so advil with a decent front door lock but and losing yet another science vessel now moving in with a drop right as there's a counterattack. this counterattack is going to run into a medic marine force this is lurkers at the natural expansion but simultaneously marines without medics are dropping to the main they should be able to chew through a lot of units right there it looks like the zergling's able to wipe out a siege tank but while that was happening the drone line of rancor getting obliterated and there's GG from Rancor just feeling like he's just too far behind economically. He's been boxed in for too long a period of time. And yeah, you can just see that it just really uh, paid off. And this was what would have been a big dedication of troops. He wasn't going to be able to reinforce from the 5 o'clock location because he did not have Hive Tech up. So nice play by Advil, able to hold it out. And Advil 
yeah, actually able to capitalize on Rancor's weakness, which is again past that early game. And it really, it just was kind of that gas deal threw Rancor off so much that uh, he ended up behind in the mid and then the late game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to move to a final match. Hope you guys, uh, yeah, and want to again say appreciations for all the BSL support. Thanks for listening.